God bless uh, the bold ones. Uh, thank God for everybody for hopping on this video. To hear this word of God uh, has definitely been a blessing. And you all have definitely been a blessing to me in the ministry of supporting and showing some love. Uh, if there's anybody new to this channel, we thank God for you for joining this channel. This is the Bow One Channel, uh, the Bow One's ministry, and we thank God for everybody. And as we come together and give this word of God, because this is what's needed in this season and in this time. So we just thank God for just everybody who took the time out of their day to be with us, and we thank God for you also. Love you, everybody. And so we're going to go ahead and we're not going to prolong anything. We're just going to get into the word. We're going to get up out of here. Amen. So well, we're going to go to the uh, the scripture for today. Well, first, the title is first. The title is says, God said, be free today from condemnation. Be free today from condemnation. And uh, God had me to go to uh, Romans. We got two uh, scriptures that we're going to read for today. Two books we're going to read today. Uh, first, we're going to go to Romans 8 and 1. And this is what it reads. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So we done read that part. And we're going to go to the other uh, book. And it's John 3 and 17. And it reads, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So we thank God for the reading of his word. Uh, and I also wrote down, had me to write down. So I'm going to go ahead and read that for you all. And so here we go. God is saying today, you got to keep striving. You got to keep fighting. I, the Lord, have many plans for you and people for you to reach. That's that's true. He, I mean, he has people that are connected to us for us to reach. Giving up is not an option. I, the Lord, rather you suffer for my name's sake and have everlasting life with me. I've been saying that many a times. Uh, everlasting life with me. Then to, then to suffer in this world without me. That's true. And cast away into the lake of fire. You're not worthy if you decide not to repent and pick up your cross and follow after him. Yeah, you're not really worthy if you're not trying to pick up the cross. You're not worthy at all after, uh, after me. But I, the Lord, will still love you whatever decision you make. And that's true. God will still love you whatever decision you make. If you choose not to follow Christ anymore... He's not gonna. Hurt. He's not gonna condemn you. He's not gonna hurt you. I mean, the choice he give us free choice of what, what we're gonna do with this life. Whether we're gonna praise him and worship him, or we're gonna worship the devil. There's only there's only two that you can go after. There's nothing between. There's no hold, no cling on to that one. To hold clean. You got to serve one another. Amen. You're worthy to his kingdom when you get it right and you keep walking after God. That is true. Yeah, you're definitely worthy when you keep running after God. That's that's definitely, and he wants us to keep running after him. He don't force us to run after him, but he 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 do put you, he do show his greatness, his love, his kindness to you. That's how he draws you. The Bible said, my love and kindness have I drawn thee. So he shows his love and kindness to draw you, but he's not going to force it upon you. Amen. Soak in my presence, saith the Lord, and learn of me and abide in me. And I in you abide in God today, start abiding God. So he begin to show you who you really are within him and how he sees you. Amen. Today, be free from condemnation because condemnation stops you from doing the will of God. That is true. Yes. Condemnation can hold you. To a point to where you feel like you you don't feel like you're you're forgiven, like you you can't seem to change or what what you have done and stuff. You can only change it, and the way you can change it is is asking God for forgiveness and repenting from the depths of your heart. Uh, the Bible says He cast it into the sea that He remembers no more. God can't even He's not. There's certain things God cannot do, and He cannot remember that sin anymore because He throws it into the sea that He remembers no more. God stick to what He has spoken. So, amen. I hope everybody got to understand on that. 
because Kaiser Dave have holding people of God. But this is your break. This is your breakthrough, saith the Lord. Come out of condemnation and be led back into my marvelous light. God wants to call everybody back into his life, uh, to the to his light. Because we are in a dark time of, of this season. But God is calling those people that he really truly loves. The Bible says he chased them who he loves. So if you've been feeling this pulling at you, God is trying to show you. Come back into my light. I know you feel down. I know you feel left out. I know you feel like that I can't forgive you. I know it. But still, give me a chance. Give me a try. God is beckoning for somebody's heart. Chains are broken off my people today. God saying today, somebody put in the comments, today the chains are broken. Today, if they believe what I have spoken, this is not me speaking. This is the Lord. This is what the Lord had me to write down. This is not me. I don't take no full credit of none of this. This is the Lord. If you believe this word and hold on to this word today, you shall be free. The Bible said, who, who son said free is free indeed. That's Bible. When the devil comes in like a flood, I, the Lord, will lift up a standards for you. That's Bible. He will always lift up his, uh, lift up a standards for all of us because he loves us so much. Be not afraid, for I am a loving and forgiving God and have all power and authority. Do we know the God that we so, that we actually serve? God has the power to forgive sins. God has power to do anything. He holds all power. The Lord holds all power in his hands. We have to know who we serve in this hour. That God has the power to forgive sin. No matter how, how bad the sin may have felt. Or how it feel like you won't be able to get back into position. God has the power to forgive sins. I don't care what anybody say. God, as long as you ain't blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Every single sin is forgiven. Amen. I have heard your prayers i have heard the heart of my people hmm. he's heard the heart of people there's some people that's been praying and saying lord where are you but god say he hears you this is this is for you god say he hears you the people that have repented but still feel still feel you get that feeling you still feel condemned that's what condemnation comes in because now it's like when, when, when you fall short. And the Bible said we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's Bible. So we all fall short. First John 1 through 9. That's my favorite scripture I like to quote when I go through. And I just always ask God because he said he's faithful enough to just forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I thank God for that scripture. Amen. I repeat. This is the Lord saying. This is the Lord talking. I repeat. The chains has been broken today, saith the Lord. The chains has been broken today, saith the Lord. If you can believe it, put it in the comments that I believe it. And I believe the chains are broken off of my life. Because you have taken this word in and you have believed and have faith in this word. If you take this word and believe and have faith, the chains will come off of you in the name of Jesus. Hold your, back, hold your head up. Pick up your cross. Believe today what I have spoken unto you. Believe, believe, believe this word. Do not waver. Uh-oh, we talk about that waver. I can't remember the scripture, but it talks about that wavering. It's like a seed tossed back and forth. No, stand flat-footed of what God just spoken today to you. And I'm telling you, you take this in, believe it, have faith. You, the chains have, they, it, the chains have to break off of you. They have to. God has already done spoken. Okay, do not waver. But have faith and believe that I am your God. Amen. So what God is saying today, have faith. Have faith. No, no matter what. God knows that people are going through. God knows that people are struggling with a sin or struggling with certain things in their life. When 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 uh I'm able to just get on my knees and just cry out to God and ask him for you no know, Lord, please forgive me. Uh, forgive me of everything that I have done against you. Like, Lord, please help me in this area. Strengthen me in this area. I mean, when you just, when you just really cry, and that's what the devil wants us. He don't want us to cry out to God. He don't want tears flowing out our eyes. That's why I don't know if somebody been going through this, if when they feel like they can't cry when they want to cry because they're so tired of the, the struggle. They're tired of the sin that's bothering them. 
and and the, and the reason why you can't cry because the devil don't want you to cry he don't want them tears to flow out but let them tears flow out that's what the devil want he don't want nobody that feel no type of way he's his condemnation is getting stronger so anytime you sin or you've done something wrong with him like that he immediately tries to put you against the wall but god is saying right now no more condemnation no more condemnation today you are free who son sets free is free indeed god loves you god said many are the afflictions of the righteousness but he shall deliver us from them all so if y'all can believe this word of what god has just spoken unto you you shall be free in the name of jesus and i command it i command you all to be free in the name of jesus know that god loves you god cares for you and he's always with you for what, what, what the Bible said. He would never leave you nor forsake you. So take this word in. If you take this word in and believe it and have faith, God is breaking all the chains off your life today. This Wednesday, today, believe the word. Believe the word of what God has spoken. The chains are broken off of your life. They are broken. In the name of Jesus, they are broken and cannot come back no more in the name of Jesus. And I command power. I command people to tap into that spiritual realm, tap into that fire in the name of Jesus. God is saying today, no more condemnation. So I thank God for everybody for watching this video. I am Tyrese Brown. Make sure you keep up the bold ones at uh, the bold one ministry channel up in prayer. Keep me up in prayer as I do for you. I love everybody. I, I, I thank God for everybody who's been sowing into the uh, who's been sowing to the ministry and stuff. I thank God for everybody. Uh, I love you all. And uh, like I said, if I got new subscribers or whatever like that, love you and I thank you all for for coming up on here. Uh, it's been a blessing to have you all up on here and being a real true supporter of Jesus Christ. So I thank everybody and love you all. Until next time, be blessed. Like I said, no more condemnation. God bless you, Bo Ones. Thank you for watching. Click the up next to hear more of the word of God. God bless.